All right, so what are you, uh, oh, wow, oh, wow, coming at me. Sausage audience, Rob. Going harder than That's how you assert dominance. Yeah, that's how you assert dominance. Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're gonna to be showcasing some of the brand new meta decks, and we have Ash on the channel. What's up, Ash? Yo, what's up, Tag? Pleasure to be here, man. What do you think of these new cards? Dude, I really like Snowball, and I'm amped to see what Royal Hog Rider's like. What about you, me man? Too. What do you think? Uh, I'm super excited. I was more keen on kind of the Royal Hogs initially, but I'm starting to see, we play tested a little bit before this, and we're starting to see some potential uh, viable uses for for Giant Snowball as well. So I'm actually a big fan of both the cards and I'm excited that they're both gonna be re released immediately. Yeah, man, I think that the Royal Hog is actually gonna be really strong. I think that the Snowball might need a little bit of touching up, but let's go jump straight into some games and uh, let's play some games, dude. Dude, let's do it. All right, here we go into the first game, tag. All right, so what are you, uh, oh, wow, oh, wow, coming at me, huh? I okay. told you, man, I'm rushing through the deck intro just to si uh, snipe you with the Hogs. We're going to no skip mercy. right off the bat. So Tesla does pretty good. Of course, I supported it a little bit. Yeah, Tesla actually denies all of the uh, Royal Hog Riders if you place it in the middle. Interesting. Yeah, you don't even okay. need Scallies or anything. Yeah. All right. I'm very curious as to what deck you're running here. <laughs> Do you think that splitting the Royal Hogs would ever be a good idea? Probably not, man. I don't yeah. think that would be a good play. Unless that you, uh, unless right you already you. have like kind of a split push going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just gonna try it out, you know? <laughs> Just have to uh, go against my, my warning. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let's see how they do. Valkyrie is super strong, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, she is. I guess maybe splitting it when you have like two units going on opposing Whoa! sides. But... Holy moly. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Tesla's still doing pretty good work, though. Yeah, Tesla completely and utterly shuts down my Royal Hogs, unfortunately. Tesla's so strong, man. I think a double elixir I might have a little bit of a benefit against you though, because uh, of my all my air units. But uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very interesting here. What made um, you uh, run knight instead of Valkyrie? I just haven't really been running yeah, knight at all. Because I wanted to. Oh, I wanted to see if I could pick push that, or or if they would pick push each other. I guess not. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Uh, I ran. Well, what I wanted to do was run something very close to two point six. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I decided to, uh, I'm just gonna log and, I don't know, kind of Yeah, stay. so... Oh, the, I didn't expect the flying machine to come Log, in. zap, they don't really do so well against the Royal Hog Rider, but Fireball no. definitely does. So Fireball, if you just Fireball it, it immediately disintegrates everything. You need one hit from your tower, and then it kills the Royal a Hog Rider, so... That's the okay. only spell that actually really does, ex does extremely well against it, at least. Alright, cool. Annoying. <laughs> Tombstone's really annoying for you, right? It is annoying for me, man. I do make a little bit of a connection there. Yeah, but you also had to use a fireball there, so... I it, did. Do you like how I have a uh, flying machine and then I have real hog rider? Like, I have a lot of fireball bait fireball in this deck. Bait. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's really solid. Fortunately, I couldn't get your flying machine there. Dude, the ceiling fan's pretty OP. <laughs> you do, do you think that, really? Uh, at least in this deck, I really like it. Yeah. I, I like the premise of it. I think this is the uh, the one deck that I would for sure use Royal Hog Rider in. I think this will be the deck that I use. This is pretty. Yeah, you're really doing incredibly solid with it. I'm like on, I'm very on my toes at this point. I'm playing this like a minor poison deck. I'm not even gonna go for Hog Rider and do a Tesla. Yeah, I was like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> not today, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty glorious log, though. You got a lot of damage there. Had to hit opposite lane now. That was no fun. All right, you overcommit with that poison. I think I'm gonna hit you. Oh no, not today, please. <laughs> oh, ice spirit. I just need to go for one more poison, then a log, and then yeah, I think do. I got the game. I think so too. I'm not gonna go in for my log just yet, though. I need to uh, need to wait and cycle back. Cause right, I know I'm you're gonna, gonna be have, going in. Uh, yeah, I need to have Ash's last stand here. <laughs> Yeah, I think I barely got it. Yeah. <laughs> I, <got> it. <laughs> I think my deck just is a lot better than yours. Um, at least like, I, I don't know. I don't think Tesla's that great in uh, in double elixir compared to like the Valkyrie flying machine synergy where I always was able to like get some poison or, or I was always able to get fireball bait. You know? Yeah, I really, I really like that deck that you play. Uh, yeah. Pretty solid. All right, let's hop into the next match and, and switch up deck. All right, sounds good. I don't know how this deck is gonna do here. How do you feel about your deck here? I feel my deck's pretty solid, man. I, uh, pretty sure you already know what it is after seeing the first three oh, cards. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> it's happening, Ash. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I have a hard enough time as is. Oh! Dude, we gotta oh! throw some, like, uh, we gotta calm down that wizard. It's all red and stuff. It, it's not allowed to get so, uh, so fiery with me. So look at how much damage the the, uh, the giant snowball did to you. Or was that one hit from the E-Wiz too, I think, maybe? I think that was one hit from the E-Wiz as well. Because the snowball doesn't do a ton of damage. No, it doesn't at all. It's uh, really like the slow down effect, I think. I don't exactly. It's it's fast. Do you like your first uh, impressions of it? Do you feel like it's better than uh, better than what? Any of the other spell uh, two elixir spells? I think it's a little bit inferior to the other spells. On in all honesty, yeah. I'm not sure if I would use it over the other spells. And, uh, kind of in the same boat there. I don't know. I was thinking that it would be pretty good with Minor Poison, but we're going to have to wait and see. It really just let me down there. I was hoping that it would do well, but, you know, at least Electro is going to give me some damage. Yeah, he will. I think I nice. might need to, like an Elixir Advantage to go and cast the Giant Snowball. The Giant Snowball, if you guys did not know, it actually does not kill even Goblins. So it's able to, obviously it's able to hit air, so it's able to kill Bats, and it actually does 110 damage at Tournament Standard. So it should be able to kill Spear Goblins and barely kill Spear Goblins, because Spear Goblins have 110 have that. HP, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Because I think that yeah. might have slowed down the Valk, yeah. Maybe yeah, that would have been a good... It. Yeah. I think that might have been a good case scenario to actually use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because other than that scenario, right, I'm very Here's... unsure, frankly, as to... <laughs> yeah. I'm as sitting to here incredibly apprehensive about dropping it in almost every case scenario. Yeah, it does slow it down, and then you go for a log. So does log zap plus, like, I don't know, snowball kill an Electro Wizard? Is that a combination that we're going to have to do right? a 6 for 4 trade or something? I don't I know, man. I have no idea. It's definitely interesting, uh, but I'm just not... I'm not sold just yet based on... You know what we've seen. Initial impressions, right, so here yeah. Comes your snowball. Doesn't even <laughs> so, yeah, stop the like, charge of the Dark Prince, man. I was gonna say, like, I do. F just gotta be honest. I do feel like I'd rather have like a poison or fireball right now. <laughs> <laughs> Buyer's <know>? remorse. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. I think I just gotta learn how to use it better too. That obviously. was a kind of a weird miner that I just dropped like out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where that miner was going, but he was going nowhere pretty fast, man. He was going somewhere, man. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Again, it just not having like the situation right now to play my uh, my snowball, mm -hmm. where I feel like I'm going to get any value out of it at least. Yeah, it just doesn't look like there's too much value. Like, I think my Electro Wizard is getting infinite value on you. You keep snowballing it, but like, I don't think it matters really. Mm -hmm. I actually think I can just go keep stockpiling Electro Wizards because of uh, the no Damn. fireball, you know? Yeah. See, this might actually be okay, though. I have to deal with the, the wizard, which is going to be pretty medicine for me, and then you're definitely going to get some tower Seriously. damage. Yeah, Snowball's not working out there. I was hoping Snowball would MVP. Didn't get much tower damage, man. You took care of it pretty, pretty easily. Uh, you still got a little bit. I was... I was a little yeah, bit I'm, scared. I had to go in for a poison. I uh, usually with minor here, poison, though. whenever I'm in a situation where I'm like, oh, I don't really know, it's usually better to be safe rather than sorry because, I mean, you can take my tower in one fell swoop if I mess up once, so. Yeah. Definitely about that life of just playing a little bit more apprehensive when I, sure. when I don't know. I feel like, so already just after this one match, I'm starting to have like a, a feeling for Snowball is I almost think that I should play it just way more often like even you, know, you saw how i used it against that tesla there mm -hmm. gg so i used it against that tesla like and i knew you were gonna have like an e-wiz there obviously it wasn't gonna kill anything here we go man let's do it let's do it let's see what's right. up man what do you think of the new bar barrel dude do you think it's gonna be I viable think it's now or probably gonna be used in a few decks i don't really yeah. know how often it's gonna be used but i think it's probably gonna be very very niche it's sure. difficult to actually say like a three elixir spell that gives a unit like one measly barbarian will be used in almost every single deck. Yeah, Most people are going to be like the, the zap or the log because the immediate spell of the zap and then also just log being able to kill all of the pesky units like goblins, rascal girls. It just doesn't get any better than that for two elixir. Sure. Until they add another card that is actually able to kill goblins and girl rascals, then you're not really going to see much of a change. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, so you're definitely running bait here. I see you, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to think of what I'm going to do about this Inferno Dragon. 
it's gonna be pretty pesky, man. You can't let those things just thrive on the tower. They're uh, yeah, pretty. <laughs> they're pretty obnoxious, pretty, uh, aren't they? Do you have Do you have a nickname for Inferno Dragon? Or I don't, man. I I yeah. don't. I uh, I guess I'm not really like that well acquainted with them. But maybe I should make one. <laughs> the one thing that I'm realizing That's... is I really wish I had log right now against that barrel. <laughs> <laughs> There's buyer's yeah, remorse with the snowball. I need whatever right edge I can get. Tag. Yeah. Um, what else? I'm wondering I'm what the heck your the rest of your cards are here, though. I can't reveal any secrets, man. I, I gotta make sure that <laughs> I'm uh, I drop it. I'm not gonna lie, you're a little scared, man. <laughs> I told you that I don't have logs, so you, you don't know what I'm rocking, right? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I have these two in my hand, guys, and I don't even know... I don't even know when to... Like, how these two cards fit together. <laughs> I've been sitting on, like, these two cards the entire match. I have not played either of them. They're in my starting... That's super to. awkward. It always happens yeah. when there's a new card, and you're just like... How exactly. do I, how like, do I use this? What deck do I put it in? Snowball, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm gonna snowball ya! Oh, oh you got snowball! Wow, that got a lot of damage, actually, man. Yeah. That was incredible. Wasn't too bad. That's a lot of elixir as well. That's not a bad combo, I guess. If it if it actually works, you know. I really wish that my miner was uh, getting the priority of the tower. Hey, I hey, 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 hey! Inferno dragon. <laughs> it's okay. Here's the card that you oh! wanted to see. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you don't have rascals this. in cycle, so I felt very confident doing that. Bad uh, placement on my Valk. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I think that like the snowball effect on top of the tower is very reminiscent yeah. of like minor poison in the old school way. I think that it just got you a lot more damage on the uh, with the goblin barrel, right? So I think this yeah. is a pretty good showcase of how to use snowball. It really has to be like. Yeah, in like relation a, with it, like right there, right there. That like was obviously. perfect. Yeah, that's that's actually incredible how much damage you got there. Yeah, you really combo scary. it with the uh, with this with your miner or with your spell or whatever, you know. Yeah, so I go in for a miner, then I go in exactly. for the snowball, snowball and, then, and yeah, yeah. I caught you there, but you get the premise. <laughs> for sure, man. And then I don't know. I think I might be in a little down. bit of trouble here. I don't know, Ash. I think you might have got me. Oh my gosh. Uh, or Oh! Well played. <laughs> oh man. Snowball. I got wrecked. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I think that that is uh I think we finally found the usage of the snowball, the giant snowball maybe. I think that's like, it. That's send it in aggressively like as a prediction play, you know. For sure. Those are some really solid games. Thanks for coming on the channel, Ash. I had a lot of fun. I can't believe that the snowball was actually as good as it was. <laughs> yeah, dude, I am still kind of in shock that, you know, we found we found some usage, some potential use for it. I can't wait to see what the kind of the community and, and the pro scene does when they get their hands on it. But dude, thanks again for having me on the channel. Really appreciate it. No doubt, man. And as you guys can see, I just got the new death build and I'm gonna be bringing you sneak peeks and a whole bunch of updates every single update. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to mash the subscriber button and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks for watching, thanks for chilling with me and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Peace out.